Okay, welcome back to Daily Driven Alpha. Um, as you can see, we're uh, not at the project shed, but uh, due to COVID lockdown, uh, we've got our new project car sitting at home. So we've uh, ended up uh, acquiring a 1967 Julia Super, and uh, we've uh, spent a bit of time getting it on the road. Was sitting in a shed, uh, had been raced in the past, was uh, from Western Australia uh, and uh, it was sitting languishing doing nothing and we've decided to pick it up and get it on the road which we've done, got it registered and now we need to decide what we're going to do with it. So quick walk around. On the surface it looks relatively straight but it has got uh, some rust in it. We've done some picking at the uh, at the paintwork and we've discovered that it looks like it's had a new roof put on it at some stage. Uh, roof's got a, a few hail dents in it. You can see where the bonnet has lifted up at some stage unsecured and folded back during driving against the, the roof and the, the windscreen. You can see that that damage is on the bonnet uh, and the chrome strip has been removed because that would have been damaged. So there's quite a bit of filler in the, in the car. As you can see this front end, we do have a replacement panel for this quarter here new old stock which we will we'll cut the section off and we'll put a new panel in. We have a new bonnet that comes with it but we may keep the louvers in this one and panel beat that bonnet up. We have a new rear passenger door and you'll see that these doors have got uh, rust in them as expected with a lot of these older cars. This this car used to be white, it's had a very poor respray, uh, as you can see by the condition of the paint. But we have got a spare door as I said and uh, we'll probably utilise it because the repair on this for the rust sections might be more effort than it's worth when we have another door. We have done some work on this, we've actually redone the, the dashboard. Um, all the gauges were in this uh, section here. Uh, they cut holes. We've put some new veneer in. We've re-black crackled the binnacle and the gauges. We've put the clock back in where it should be. It works. All the gauges work. We've re-upholstered the uh, top of the dash. Other than that, um, we purchased a uh, cover for the gear stick um, and uh, carpets are original, um, dirty but functional, so we're still leaving them for the moment. Unfortunately, the previous owners have customised uh, an original wheel and I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with that apart from keep it but uh, we'll put an original wheel back on there. Taking all the door cards off to have a look uh, at the interior of the doors and get in and uh, just arrest uh, any of the rust that's already starting in there. You can see that the headliner itself is uh, oops, sorry, probably not focusing very well. The headliner itself is in uh, poor condition but uh, we've got a new headliner from uh, Classic Alpha really nice quality actually um, although we've noticed that uh, the original snake bite inserts here have been replaced by straight vinyl on the uh, on the reproduction um, headliners that's okay seats themselves uh, tired but functional. Uh, vinyl seems to be okay. Um, the rear seat's not too bad. Got the armrest. So, 
that's probably a little bit better view. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the the vinyl's been tearing, and there's been some aluminium strips and stuff put in here that sort of uh, just sort of functional, but. Uh, we're not going to play around with that too much at the moment. The key thing was just to get this thing on the road, arrest the rust, make an assessment of it. Um, yeah. Runs nicely, motor's actually not too bad. Into the boot, battery's been put into the boot, got an isolator switch, great idea. Jay Leno says every classic car should have one of these in and uh, you can see that the the original rubber lining here is so hard and brittle it just breaks off into into pieces so we'll pull all that out and that's easily replaced um, obviously we need to get new rubbers in here and Fix up, uh, fix up the boot a little bit, but um, it's not too bad. These little cars are quite interesting in that you just don't see too many of them on the road. And uh, I think they're sleepers. I think these are the ones to start thinking about. Um, can have a lot of fun with them. Uh, they drive nicely. And... Um, They've got that sort of uh, quirkiness about them. Now, you can see that the, the, the bonnet stay here is missing. And as a consequence, uh, this bonnet's been folded all the way back and uh, has started damaging uh, the scuttle panel and also the, uh, the hinges. Uh, what have we done in here? We've put a... Uh, uh, replaced a, a radiator from one of the coupes that we had that was in a bit better condition. Uh, the, uh, the other one that we had in here originally was leaking a bit, so we just quickly put that in. That stabilised the cooling. We uh, had a black crackled cam cover laying around, so we just put that on just for a bit of fun. Uh, changed the air filter uh, on it, put a new filter in and put one that was drawing uh, cooler air from the front of the car rather than the engine bay. Fuse cover, um, we have a cover for it, but as soon as we put it on, we noticed that uh, fuses started uh, going, and we think that that's because there's a crack in the actual uh, mounting itself. So uh, we've taken that off, and that seems to have solved it, but we'll need to do something with the electrics. Uh, we've got uh, Weber's DCO 40s on. Um, they're running quite nicely. Previous owners put uh, a bracket and a thermatic fan in with one of these, um, you know, regulators with a wire that goes in, which is pretty agricultural. We'll change that out and put a inline thermostatic switch when we're there. Original, got the original headers, uh, uh, cast iron headers in there, an exhaust system, uh, spin-on oil filter. So we've Classic Alpha got some uh, filters and changed that up new oils and fluids in. Uh, alternator, we've left as is. Seems to be okay. Not the original brake booster that went with the car, not the original position for the uh, brake fluid, but um, we put a, uh, a similar booster in that we had spare because the one that came with the car wasn't working. That's just to get the car up and running. And um, what we do like about this is uh, you can see there by the little triangle with a dot in it that this is a 1750 Series 2 motor. And these are lovely little motors. These are the Pepe, Revy, uh, slightly hotter cammed uh, Alpha motors that uh, people look for. And while it's got a bit of, uh, you know, tap at noise, um, we'll, we'll address that with uh, looking at... Uh, whether it's the shims further down the track, but at the moment it's running reasonably well. And so we're just going to continue to drive it, take it to coffee and cars as is, leave it as a little bit of a street urchin, 
and uh, and then decide what we want to do with it. Oh, one thing you may notice, for those of you who are watching closely, the wheels on it are 14-inch wheels, not 15s. And uh, what that does is changes the gearing slightly, so it gives you a nice start from the lights. And uh, but what what it does do is it lowers the stance of the car by uh, you know an inch or so. And so uh, further down the track, I think we'll we'll look at putting. Uh, uh, GT wheels on. Uh, don't know if we'll put the TZ alloys on, but uh, right now this is about as much love as this car is going to get. So, a new project for the daily driven shed, and uh, we'll we'll see how that goes as we get time and funds to to play with it. We'll keep you updated, and uh, hopefully. You'll get to see this getting painted and and brought back to life and uh, a final product for the road. Not sure that we'll sell this one. We may keep it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe, share them with your friends. And uh, uh, comment uh, if you've got any comments, share any uh, stories that you have. Thanks for watching.